Hello. So it's Friday, the 4th of November, and I'm at Sarah's I've had from Gas School to pick up my little sister. And this school it's a bilingual school. So which means it will have a lot of a foreign teacher. So I guess this will be a great chance for me to do the talks that I got that is a foreigner interview. So let's go and find someone to interview. So I am here with Mr. Andy Cage. He is willing to let me interview. So thank you, Mr. Andy Cage. You're welcome. Okay. So yeah, this is the first question. So basically, where did you come from? Okay, I came here from England, a town called Banbury, which is near Oxfordshire. Yeah, it's Oxfordshire. Which city? Uh, well, it's a town called Banbury, about one hour from London, oh. north of London. North of London. So, why and when did you come here? Why and when? When? That was about <clears throat> 2007 I came here. Also, it was quite a long nine, time. nine years ago now, yeah. Nine years ago. Yeah, I used to run my own business back in England and then. When the credit crunch come, I decided to move out here. Oh. And I used to teach Polish people that used to work for my company. Oh. And then I thought I'd just come here and start teaching here. So, so you're basically an English teacher here? Yeah. For like, from 2007? Yeah, nine years ago. Nine years. Oh. So, you were here for quite a long time now. What do you most enjoy about Thailand? Like your favorite Thai food or Thai beers, something like that? Okay, what do I enjoy the most? I suppose the most enjoyable thing is the people over here, they're so friendly compared to being back in England. Yeah. And the food, yeah, the food's nice. Uh, you like spicy food? Yes, yes, lots of people don't believe that I eat so much spicy food because, especially when we go to a restaurant, oh, yeah. they see I have it Thai style as well. So. But I quite like the spicy food. Yeah. Yeah, and like I said, I've got no regrets of moving out here and I don't think I'll be moving back to England. I'll be staying here now. Oh yeah, that'd be great. The weather is yeah. over there. Yeah, the weather, yeah, the weather's a big difference as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's always cold and rainy over there, apart from about, I don't know, six weeks a year. <laughs> and here, it's hot all the time. It's starting to rain a lot now. Basically. Yes, yes. Yeah, I don't mind the rainy season, I quite like it actually. Not too hot. No, no. In the summer, it's very hot. Yes, and uh, December time I like as well because it gets you know, quite cold compared yeah. to what usually is. Not too cold. Not too cold, no, not for me, no, it's just right for me. Yeah. Like a hot summer's day in England. So, what is the difference between England and Thailand since you lived here for like nine years? About the, like the lifestyle or something? The lifestyle. Like well, I think the lifestyle here is a lot more relaxed compared to England. Um, it's like I said earlier, the people are a lot friendlier. Um, everywhere I go, people want to talk to me and stuff like that. But whereas in England, I don't know, it's just totally different cultures. So I think the culture is the biggest difference. Thai people like to talk to a foreigner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Thai yeah. people communicate. Yeah. But these days, people are furious. Well, well, yeah, some people. Because I got a house <coughs> up in the north of Thailand, we go to the market, and Thai people come to try to speak English to me, and they can't speak a word of it, but they just like to try. Yeah. And it's quite amusing at times. <laughs> so. Yeah, but they try to make you understand. Yeah, 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 and I try to make them understand as well. But <laughs> as for me, I should be learning Thai a bit more, but I just know a little bit. Yeah, that's okay, because Thailand and English are. Uh, Mm, yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, it's quite strange when we go to the market and sometimes I'll wait at the car for the wife to do her shopping. 
and she would come back and there'd be people at my car talking to me. It's quite strange, really. Yeah. And in England, you wouldn't get that. It's like you know that Yeah. Yeah. And oh. I just came up with this question. Since you are an Englishman, so you watch football, aren't you? Yes, I watch football. I'm a big fan of Manchester United. Oh, that sucks. I'm a Liverpool fan, by the way. Really? Oh, yes. <laughs> I won't say nothing about that then. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, but they're doing well this year, Liverpool, very well. I think they've got a good chance of winning the league, actually. Yeah. I don't like to say that, but I think they have a good chance. Also. Yeah, it's like Manchester United, I supported those for, I don't know, about 45 years now. Yeah. So a long time, yeah. But they're not a trophy, they're so Yes, they've yeah, lots and lots of trophies, but now it could be a long time before they get good again. So, if you could change or do something to improve the performance of the team, what would you do? Oh, good question. Get some money and buy some new defenders for a start, I think. So I think that's their biggest problem at the moment. The attack are not very well with um, the attack. They've got good players, but I think they're all a bit old now, like yeah. Ibrahimovic and Rooney. Oh, yeah. They should give, be given like Rashford and Marshall a chance now. Yeah, and the manager is. Well, maybe he's come to the end of his career now, like Louis van Gaal. He was at the end of his career. Yeah, he's quite odd. He's playing something weird. Yeah, but he's a good manager, but I don't know whether he's got the passion anymore, like he used that before. But we'll see. Yeah. Two years and we'll see. I think next year will be the big year. Because I think he'll just get completely new players for the whole team, I think. If the manager stays. If he stays, yes. He <laughs> might not. <laughs> well, no, he might go crazy again, just like he did at Chelsea and just go. So. Yeah, it's unbelievable what the Chelsea players I must admit, it. when Klopp, your Liverpool manager, was at Dortmund, yeah. I thought then that he should have been the Man United manager because he always plays attacking football. Yeah. Well, tries to, so. Now we will your company to Boston. No, no. <laughs> Guardiola as well, he's finding it difficult because totally different league. Yeah, yeah. So. I think Guardiola probably finds it difficult. Yeah, yeah. He can struggle. It's like, well, there was it Conte at Chelsea. He started off rough, but now he's got the hang of it and he's doing well now, very well. Yeah, on the right thing now. Yeah, and I think this year, Chelsea, Liverpool, I think they could be the two. And I'll still sitting in the forest. And Arsenal, they do the same every year. They do yeah. well, and all of a sudden they do absolutely rubbish. So. And up in the board, up the table yeah. every year. Every year, yeah. So, it's about time, and this might be the last question. So, since you are an English teacher, what would you suggest the students or English learner to improve their English skill? I always recommend that they should watch lots of um, English news channels because you know it's amazing what you can pick up from that really and just practice and practice all the time it's like I always you know when people tell me they're going to England or America to go for a holiday or whatever yeah and I always recommend they go there because just being there because they have to talk English then and yeah. it improves all the time because so, when they're in the class here I find that they do get very lazy <laughs> and they're I don't know Maybe a little bit shy as well in case their friends laugh at them when they get things wrong. But if they're in England or America, Australia, they have to use English, so there's no way of getting out of it. I still get this more than shy. When yeah. Speak English. Yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of it is because they are, I don't know if they're scared of getting things wrong and people laugh at them or whatever, I don't know. So, but, yeah. but watching the news channels, that always has helped as well. Even if you just watch it half an hour at night, and you soon pick up new words and how they speak. And, Vocabulary. So, so like, try to use English as much as you can. As much as you can, yeah. Yeah, you yeah, have a student. I think he was the same year as yours, Arnott. Oh. I think you remember him, yeah. yeah. And, you know, when we had free time or whatever, all the other students would be reading their Thai books and comics. <laughs> this Arnott, he'd be reading English books all the time. Yeah. And, you know, his English was very good. Yeah. That's all it is, it's all about practicing, really. Yeah, and putting your, yeah, and putting yourself forward into English situations a lot. If you like English, then your English will be better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you do the thing that you like 
Absolutely. Yeah, I totally agree with you. It's like if you don't like doing English, you, you, know, you don't care about it, you won't learn so much. But when you like something, no matter what it is, you'll always yeah. put more effort into it. So. Yeah. And what about you? Do you like English? Of course I do. <laughs> Yeah. I like English football. English football, yeah. yeah. You should go to... Have you been to England? Oh, my chance. You should go there and watch Liverpool play. <laughs> maybe this year. Yeah. Maybe this year, yeah? Maybe just maybe. maybe. Next year, they might be back. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I would recommend anybody to go abroad, even if it's just for a month or whatever, to go on a holiday maybe. And, yeah. you know, you find it totally different. Much more than an experience. Yeah. One hell of an experience as well, yeah. <coughs> and then you would know the difference between Thailand and England then. Especially the weather, the cost of living, and the atmosphere as well. Because the atmosphere here seems a lot better than it is in England. Yeah. More relaxed and laid back. Yeah, and, uh, People there I know more like sweet and urgent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, everything's in a rush. <laughs> yeah, punctual, yeah. <laughs> Everything's in a rush over in the west, so yeah. we've only done a hundred miles an hour. And if somebody wants it, they want it now. Yeah. So that pretty much all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the review. Anytime. Cheers, mate. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.